Hey there. In this tutorial, I thought it'd be pretty cool to create a common interaction we see with a lot of e-commerce websites where we have a main image and then thumbnails on the bottom. And as we click on each thumbnail, it moves into the main image wrapper. So I'm going to show you how I set this up in Webflow and then break down how I created the interaction. So the first thing I want to do is go over how I set up this layout and then go into the interaction part. Now I know layouts can change depending on your project, but I just want to show you how I built this and then get into the interaction, which I believe is the more important part of the tutorial. So first thing is when I set up my e-commerce settings, I used all the default settings for the product. However, I did add three custom fields. I added three more image fields, and that's because by default, it comes with a more image component. And when you use the more images component, that opens up the light box. But in this situation, I don't want to use the light box. I want to have where the thumbnails move into the main image wrapper that I have set up. So once I set up those three custom image fields, I saved my collection. And then on my page, I have it set up where I have a container. And in that container, I have a left side, which houses my images and thumbnails. And then I have a right side, which is my product description and add to cart buttons. So how I set up my left side is I have a main photo wrapper that I have set up to 640 pixels by 400 pixels with a relative positioning. And in that main photo wrapper, I have four images. I have the first image on top and all four images have absolute positioning. So the image has 100% width, 100% height. And the first image matches up with the first thumbnail image. And so I gave each one a combo class. So this is image one and it matches with the first thumbnail. Then I have the second image and I'm going to put it to show and that matches up with the second thumbnail on the bottom here. And I, with the absolute positioning, each subsequent image has a higher Z position. So the first image has a Z position of 10. The second one has a Z position of 11. And then I'm going to show you the third image. Z position of 12 combo class three and it matches up with the third thumbnail and then I have the fourth image I'm going to put to show combo class of four Z position 13 and it matches up with the fourth thumbnail now I'm going to go back and put image two three and four on on hidden and that's for later when we do the interaction so I have the second third and fourth image by default to hidden so just the first image is visible and then below the main photo wrapper, I have a photo thumbnails wrapper. And in that photo thumbnails wrapper, I have four link blocks. And each link block has an image and it matches up with the image that we set up in the image settings. So the first link block has image one, which in this case is the main image. The second link block has image two. image two. The third link block has image three. And the fourth link block has image four. And in this case with the thumbnails, what I did was each link block has a combo class. So the first one has a combo class of one, second one combo class two, third link block combo class three, and the fourth link block combo class four. So now that I set up my structure, the most important part is the interactions. So what I did was I first, I'm going to go to the second one. I started with the second one. And I'm going to set up an element on mouse click. I'm going to start an animation. And I'm going to name this interaction thumbnail two. And I'm going to target that second image. So I'm going to click on the second image and I'm going to start with a hide show interaction. I'm going to set the display to show and then set this as the initial state. And I'm also going to add an opacity. So I'm going to put the opacity down to zero also as the initial state. And then where it says end, I'm going to add another opacity, put it to a hundred percent. And the easing I like to use is out court with a duration of 0.75. And now what we also have to do is we also have to target the other three images 
and make sure they have an opacity of zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right here. We're going to target the third image. And we're going to add an opacity. Put that down to zero. And I'm going to make the duration for this one 0.5 just so it's faster than our main one. And I'm going to put it with the other one, image two. And then I'm going to duplicate the third, what we did for the third image. And I'm going to change target to image four, put it with the rest. I'm going to duplicate it one more time, change target and put it with image one and put it with the rest. So we have our initial state is image two is set to show. Then we go down to opacity zero. And then at the 0, 0.00 mark, we have the opacity at 100% with a 0.75 out court. And then image three, four, and one have a 0.5 duration on out court. So now we set up the thumbnail two, we're gonna do the same for the rest. So we're gonna go to thumbnail photo three, set up a mouse click interaction start animation and we're going to duplicate thumbnail two. We're going to duplicate. It's going to make thumbnail three. And then we're going to change the targets. So we're going to go to the first three. We're going to hold down control and click where everyone says image two. Change target to image three. And then where it says image three, where we have it at 0.5, we're gonna change that target to image two. So in thumbnail three, image three starts off showing opacity zero and then 0.75 out court. And then two, four, and one have the 0.5 duration. And then we're gonna repeat it one more time for thumbnail four. So we're gonna go mouse click start an animation. We're going to duplicate thumbnail three, put a thumbnail four, and we're going to change the target, hit hold down control, change target to image four. And then on image four here, we're going to change the target to image three. So in this case, 0.5 is image two, three, and one. Now that we set that up, now we're going to do the first thumbnail. And the first thumbnail, we have to do some more editing. So we're going to do it was we're going to go down to the first link block, set up a mouse click interaction, start an animation, and we're going to duplicate number four. And we'll name it number five. We'll configure and we'll name it thumbnail one. And what we're going to do is this case, we're going to get rid of the initial state. We're going to delete this. We're going to set, change the target of image four to image one. And then we're going to change the image one with the 0.5 on the bottom here to image four. So when for thumbnail one, the first image has a 0.75 out court and then two, three and four have the 0.5 duration. Then we're going to save. Then when we check it out, and there it is. So that's the tutorial. A link to the clonable will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching.